Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Nobody else can do this for you. A doctor can look at your respiration but doesn't know how the breathing feels. And that's what you want to be in touch with, how your breathing feels right now. Because that gets you centered here in, the, in your awareness of the present moment. If you're off thinking about the past and the future, you can't watch your own mind. And if you're not watching your own mind, it's like nobody's minding the store. Nobody's keeping watch over the workers in the factory. The mind keeps creating intentions, and if you're not there to keep watch over them, who knows what's going to come out in your thoughts and your words and your deeds. So settle in with the breath. Try to make the breath as comfortable as you can so it feels good to be here, and that makes it easier to stay in the present moment. It also puts you in a better mood so that you can notice, oh, this particular thought is not really something I want to get involved with. It's unskillful. If the mind is feeling frazzled, it doesn't want to hear anything about its own drawbacks or its own faults. So give the mind a sense of nourishment here with the breath so you can look at your own fault. It's only then that you can improve your actions. This is one of the basic principles that the Buddha taught his son when he first started teaching him the Dharma. You've got to look at your intentions and look at your actions. If there's anything harmful in your intentions, don't act on them. If you're doing something that's causing harm, stop. If you've done something that's caused harm, okay, admit it to yourself and go talk it over to somebody who knows better so they can give you advice on how not to do that harm. But ultimately it keeps coming back to your ability to look at your own actions and give them a fair judgment. That's why, the mean, not, <clears throat> that's why the mind needs a good, solid place to stay right here, right now. So its judgments can be more sure. Because after all, this is how you become your own refuge. The Buddha says many, many times you have to make yourself your own refuge. And it's through developing your powers of judgment, that's how you become your own refuge. If your powers of judgment are good and judicious, okay, then they can actually be helpful in making you, making you more skillful. Otherwise, you have to depend on what other people say. Was this right? Was that right? You don't know what, they, what they're using as their standards of judgment. You look around, you go on the internet, and you see everybody has all kinds of opinions. There's no, and there's no objective standard out there at all. But there's an objective standard in what the Buddha teaches. And okay, if you do something that's unskillful, it's going to cause harm, so you better watch out. And be very clear about what is and is not unskillful. So learn how to develop your powers of judgment like this. That way you become more and more reliable. So when something comes up, you can say, oh, that's unskillful, and then you have the strength to not follow it. That's another one of the gifts of the concentration. It gives you a sense of inner strength. So not only can you see things clearly, but you can act on what you know is right. That combination is really important. That's when you can learn how to depend on yourself. Because otherwise, situations come up where it's really difficult to keep to the precepts, and whoops, there you go, you slip. You have to remind yourself you want to be able to stick to the precepts no matter what. Even if society starts falling apart all around us, we still want to be able to stick to our precepts, because that's what we can carry on to the next life. And that's what gives us a sense of our own worth and our own self-esteem right here, right now, is the fact that we would not give in to any lower temptations. So you need the concentration as a source of strength for this, both to see what's right and to do what's right. And that way you become your own refuge. <laughs>